Hey everyone, this is the Faro of Beer Money Finance, Faro Silver, back with another video. And you probably noticed that we're not going to talk too much about beer money today. Well, everything's about beer money, but in this case, we're talking about the bowling mini game in Atlas Earth because I know that's what a lot of you want to talk about. Um, this is going to be mostly audio. I'm going to show a little bit of video footage, just letting you know, on the bowling mini game event that happened last night. So. Uh, for those of you that are wondering how much I liked it, initially, honestly, I kind of liked it at first. It seemed kind of interesting, and it looked very different, and it looked very easy to get to. But then, as time went on, I would say about 40, 45 minutes pass into the event, and then I come to the realization that if it was this easy for me, it's probably going to be this easy for everyone else. But I want to show off kind of a little bit of the stream that was going on in the Beer Money Network channel, which by the way, go check out the Beer Money Network channel, subscribe, they're getting close to, AJ's getting close to 100 subscribers on it. But I wanna show you uh, what it looks like, and I did turn off the volume, so that way um, I can give my own commentary on this. I kinda just butted in last night on a live stream with AJ and Tasty Wallet. So let me go ahead and play this and show you, this is one of AJ's games here. And yeah, that is actually throwing a bowling ball right into the pins. Yeah, um, please don't do this at an actual bowling alley. So uh, what happens here with the uh, bowling mini game? pause here, is you have this uh, bar that's very similar to the mulligan. It's probably more similar to the mulligan one than it is to the golfing one because the golfing one is kind of uh, top heavy where you go one, two, three, four, and then if you go past four, it's zero. This one's a little bit more forgiving. So you have the red ones, which count as one point, the yellow ones, which count as two points, and the green ones, which count as four points. Um, you, get, uh, you can actually get up to six throws with it and the maximum amount of points you could probably get is 24. The thing is, though, that people kind of caught on to this pretty quickly, and if you were anywhere near the top 25 to top 50, you would start seeing games, you know, pretty often where most players were pulling 22, 24 points, basically, and it then became, can you get to the 22 to 24 first in order to beat your opponent, and that we've already gotten into fishing levels of competition in the first session makes me feel like this bowling minigame is going to get real old really fast. All right. Like if if I'm getting if I'm getting 24 for at least half of my games and I'm playing other players in the top 25 and I'm getting 24 24 games like I'd say half a dozen of them were 24 24 games. I, <laughs> this is just the first session and a lot of people don't realize that like the first session is usually the one where we screw up. It was hard to get a 40 in golf in the first session in the first mini game event that we had. Now 40s are just super common. With fishing, it was hard to get anything past like 14 in fishing in the first mini game event. Now we're seeing you know, people get 16s and 17s, no problem. Although I think with fishing, they gave you a little bit more time. So I think it was 20 back then that you guys were doing. Um, so eventually, you know, people are going to get better and the competition is going to get fiercer. And what you're going to be left with is a bunch of players doing 24-24. And I really think that Atlas Earth needs to reconsider, like, the recharge time for bowl. Look at how long this recharge time is. Just watch this. Can I, sh can I see another one? Look at how long this... Recharge time is two, three, four. Oh, is, did I already pass it? Hold on for a moment. Let me just. There we go. So starting out with the slow one, he hits, gets the four, two. Oh, geez. Yeah, the, the, the stream was really bad, actually, with this one. But, um, but yeah, what happened was that it would go back and forth on the left and the right. So you start here, and you hit here. And by the way, there was a lag right at the very beginning where many times the lag will go past the green, and then you hit the yellow, and you get two points. 
And while that was sort of annoying now, it's going to get really annoying down the line when this will mean the difference between a win and a loss. So anyway, you start here, then you go here to the middle, you hit it, and then you go here and it goes back and forth. It goes back and forth, and once it hits the left edge again three times, that's when the recharge comes in. I don't understand why we can't have a little bit less of a recharge time. Um, I would like to see a little bit less of a recharge time so that way we have more data points. Six data points, six shots is just not enough to create a to create a real competitive edge in this mini game. It just basically becomes almost a lottery. Basically, can you get there? Do you have better timing than your opponent? It's based. It's almost like the timing of racer with the um with the uh, bar timing of golf, although a little bit more forgiving than golf, I will say, because this was good, like doing the doing the um, four points and surrounding the two points with it. So that way you at least get something if you miss. But if you were playing this bowling minigame last night, I would like to know what your thoughts were on this. Um, everyone from Canada, UK, Australia and the United States should have had the bowling minigame tonight or this morning. Uh, the only country that did not is the one that just opened up this week, and that was Mexico, which, by the way, bienvenido a Atlas Earth uh, to everyone over in Mexico. And I hope I did not butcher Spanish there. My my Spanish is like um, pretty much like a second year Spanish student, basically. Um, maybe not even that. <laughs> I basically did a little bit of Duolingo. So that's pretty much all my commentary on this bowling thing. It looked fun at first. The animation is just goofy. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Fire it, throw it at the... <laughs> I can't even. I can't even with this. I. Okay, you know what, Atlas Earth, you guys... Atlas Reality, you guys are doing... It's clear you guys aren't... You guys are being very tongue-in-cheek with a lot of these this stuff. And honestly, it's working for me. It, it's working. I, I enjoy the goofiness. I really do. Keep it up, guys, on that one. But please do better with these mini games. I really want to see something that's a little bit more competitive that we don't end up with a bunch of 24 24s and then it basically becomes a giant lottery in the top 50 to 100. For me, I did finish top 25 in the bowling mini game. I finished 7th actually overall. I won my state in North Carolina, but I'll be honest with you that's only because the pot was huge for this one and it's probably not going to be that big again. I fully expect him might barely struggle to hit 100k next time in the next two hour event. So if it were me, personally, I probably would only be playing up till top 500 like the other mini games. I mean, it's just another timing game. That's all this is. And this is one of the this is the another of the bigger problems I'm having is that this is just a timing game, which I'm aware this was going to be a timing game. But like, I wish that they then changed one of the other games. To make it a little bit more strategic, like I had talked about earlier with Warship. I would like to have seen Warship uh, change a little bit. I would have liked to see Fishing change a little bit, where they had multiple fishes. AJ had this idea they talked about in private with me and Tasty Wallet, where you could have like multiple fishes, and they'd be worth multiple points. And so you wanted time and find the best fish possible, and kind of re you know do some resource management and time management in that way. So things like that would be really awesome if they could figure that out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with me regarding the bowling mini game. Uh, let me know what you think. It was really interesting. This was a lot of this was a lot of fun for the first event, but I can see everyone really starting to get sick of this very quickly. I mean, a lot of the people on the Beer Money Network Discord were already getting sick of it from the first go. So you know, imagine what it'll be like a month or two from now. So that's pretty much the video, everyone. Uh, give me a like uh, for this video. Comment on what you think, and I I'm just really curious on this, what you think about the bowling minigame. If you'd want to make any improvements to it or any of the other minigames, just in general. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. This is the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, Pharaoh Silver, out. Bye, everyone.